I did not apply a lot of makeup today. It's just a little bit of foundation, mascara, and lipstick. I'm using the Clean It Zero Balm by Benelaco. This is one of the best makeup removing palms I've ever used. I've almost finished it and I need to get a new one. This one melts in your hands and on your face and also melts your makeup completely. Waterproof mascara, liquid lipsticks. Let's do this. I typically start with my skin and then I move to the eyes and the lips. And if I'm wearing a very dark red lip or some bold color on my lips, I'll usually go with coconut oil on a cotton pad or some micellar water on a cotton pad and I remove my lip first. Also for the heavy eye makeup, if I mean I have heavy eye makeup on for that day, I usually go in with coconut oil or micellar water on a cotton pad and remove my eye makeup first. But that doesn't really happen that often, especially eye makeup. I have hooded eyes, so I don't really wear heavy makeup on the eyes. It doesn't stay. It just does not stay on my eyes, so. I just massage this into my skin, just like any other cleansing balm. If you have used cleansing balm before, you know how it works. Um, just massage it into your skin, it melts all the makeup off, and then you use some water. Now that everything is off and I look like a panda, it's time to rinse it off. Next, I'm using this soap. This is not an ordinary soap. It was uh, prescribed by my dermatologist. I do visit a dermatologist every now and then for my dry skin. It's been a while since I used a sheet mask, but I'm being fancy for this video today. And this is the Nature Republic Real Nature Mask Sheet in Avocado. These are really hydrating. It's been 10 minutes and I am going to take this off. I just took the leftover serum from the mask. I'm going to rub it into my skin just to help with the absorption. And now I am going to seal everything with a moisturizer. Just rub it between my fingers and I apply it like this. I'm using the Okay, it's everywhere. I am using the Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream. This is really thick and I think it's supposed to be a body moisturizer, but I really like it on the skin too. So I like symbols in skincare. I like products that can be used in more than one way, like a body moisturizer, which is also a face moisturizer, and like a tint that can be used as a lipstick and also as a blush it keeps things simple and the last step is vaseline for my lips i'm using this just vaseline petroleum jelly works for me and it keeps my lips supple and soft so i've been using it like since forever also i use vaseline on my face petroleum jelly on my face somewhere where I'm feeling like it's very dry or I am developing a dry patch. Vaseline petroleum jelly for me works miracles for me and my dry skin so I do use it on my dry patches sometimes. And that is it for this video. I hope you found this video relaxing and it inspired you to do your own self-care and that's it. Thank you for watching this video and have a good night.